Um, is there anything else you want to say or describe about how being Jewish in Amherst is different than being <laughs> Jewish in New York City? Well, it, you know, even though I grew up in a very mixed neighborhood in New York, in Queens, um, and there was a lot of respect among neighbors uh, of different religions, and um, it, it didn't, it always felt comfortable being a Jew in New York City because there there was so many, especially in the New York City school, in the college system, you know, it was, I don't know, it was probably 80% Jewish. Um, so uh, it just it never felt strange. I never felt like an outsider. I never felt like... Uh, it, when it was Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, you had to explain to people why you weren't coming to work. Um, and, uh, you know, there was Jewish food and Jewish celebrations and Jewish theater and Jewish, you know, there they was just a lot. It felt very comfortable. Coming up here was a whole new experience. Uh, there were a lot, there were transplanted, you know, New Yorkers up here because uh, this is an attractive place. Uh, but uh, when I was in graduate school, when I got my letter about orientation, um, and and they had scheduled an, a, a mandatory orientation uh, on Rosh Hashanah, it was shocking to me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they did change it. Um, but it was shocking to me that they didn't look at a calendar and and pick a date that wasn't, a, a, you know, a significant Jewish holiday, that they didn't have the wherefore all to just look at the calendar and consider that. So that was shocking to me. And even initially getting Passover food, or not that I was kosher when I moved up here, but e even that wasn't easy. And, you know, finding a place to get deli or th that kind of stuff was very hard initially. So it felt, um, I, I certainly didn't, I certainly felt in the minority in Amherst. I think things have changed, but I, you know, since the, those were the only two places I've ever lived, it was, they were very different.